How you doing Cali crowd? On this channel we talk a lot about building strong foundations from which we can go on to develop great feats of strength with our bodies. In calisthenics this is particularly important because the movements we generally look to develop deliberately put our bodies at a mechanical disadvantage with a lot of these movements actually requiring us to push and pull our entire body weight through space, sometimes even upside down or with limbs far past our centre of mass. It is therefore in our best interest to ensure that we are set up to put our bodies through this stress by building a quality base of foundational pushing and pulling strength first. Today we'll be tackling the pushing side of that equation by taking a look at one of the most important areas on the body when it comes to calisthenics, the scapula. The scapula supports the wider shoulder complex to perform six main roles. Retraction, protraction, elevation, depression, upward rotation, and downward rotation. A large majority of calisthenic skills and exercises originate with one of these movements. And when it comes to pushing, there are two simple exercises that we can do that can drastically increase our pushing strength with relatively little effort. The first is the scapular push-up. Here, we want to get into a push-up position, hands shoulder width apart, screwing them into the ground so that the elbow pits point forwards. Also guys, we're not in the business of valley backs, so squeeze those bum cheeks too and engage the core. Making sure not to bend the arms or extend the spine, we want to lower into scapular retraction. Hold here for a couple of seconds before pushing into scapular protraction. Remember, this is about the scapular position, not the body position. So make sure you're not excessively flexing the spine or bending the arms here. Take this nice and slow, guys. And as always, film yourself whenever you're trying a new exercise to make sure you're giving yourself a chance to get that valuable feedback. The second exercise that will boost your pushing strength looks to develop scapular elevation and depression with the scapular dip. We can perform the scapular dip on a straight bar or on parallel bars, but essentially the goal here is to lower our bodies into scapular elevation before pushing them back up into scapular depression, all the while ensuring the arms are kept straight. At the top of this movement, really focus on driving those shoulder blades down and away from the ears and holding there for at least a second to really make sure we're building the strength that we want. We can actually progress this by layering on a pike component. Once we achieve scapular depression at the top of the scapular dip, we can pike at the hips and now we're working the upward and downward rotation rolls of the scapula. This will have great transfer over onto front lever work as well as planche and handstand pressing. What I love about these exercises is that they work at every level. Whether you're a beginner and are using these as core elements of your workout as you build towards movements such as push-ups and dips, or you're intermediate to advanced and want to include one set of these as light dynamic mobility work in your warm-ups. But guys, the question I have for you is right now, what are your main goals when it comes to pushing strength? Let me know in the comment section below. Try these two exercises out for yourself to really see how they can take your pushing game to the next level. And I'll see you in the next one.